Hey, we have this really interesting integral on the board. It looks like it came from the MIT integration feed, but it didn't. Um, but pretty complicated. So let's see what we can do with this thing. One thing, it's a lot of problems here because it's kind of complicated with all the square roots and embedded square roots. But one thing I see is we can definitely factor out an X there um, because we have that X in common. And we could take this eight to the front. I'm not sure what that's doing there, but let's do that. So we're gonna have one eighth, and then I'm gonna pull this square root of X entirely out, but we're still gonna have a square root of one plus e to the square root of x in the denominator, and then we'll just have this same thing in the numerator, dx. And then I noticed this piece and this piece are exactly the same, which is a good sign that we can maybe do something with that. I think what I want to do is try a u substitution. We also know if this is just a 1, when we if this is our u in here, when we differentiate, the 1's just going to go away. So what I'm going to try try it probably a different, few different ways, but we're gonna try u equals one plus the square root of e square root of x. And then I'm just gonna rewrite this because I think it's gonna be a little easier to deal with if we we write our e, oh sorry, one plus e, we'll write x to the one half for our square root. And then this whole thing is in a square root, so we're gonna have a one half in front here. Now we're ready to get our derivative. So we'll have du, derivative of one is zero. Then we'll have, at first we'll have e half x one half, and we'll use the chain rule. We just need the derivative of this piece. And that's actually gonna be one fourth x to the minus one half. And then let's just clean this up a little bit. So I'm gonna actually put this back the way we had it. So we're gonna have this as e um, square root of x, and then this is all going to be over a fourth square root of x. This is just a square root of x in, in the denominator, dx. So now before doing our substitution, I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. Notice that we have really everything we need for our du here. We have this, this piece in the numerator, and we have already have our square root of x here. We just want to create this one fourth. So what I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to, so I'm going to split up this one eighth. I'm going to write one half in front. We'll merge it as We'll write this as one half times one fourth, and we'll bring the one fourth in. I just like to do this to organize my D so I know it's gonna work right. So then we'll, we'll just keep this piece. So we'll have one over one plus square root of E square root of X all in a square root. Then we'll take our DU stuff. So we're gonna have this piece, we're gonna have the square root of E square root of X We'll have our one fourth that we brought in and we'll have our square root of x dx. And so then we have all of our du right here. And now we're ready to make our substitution. We're gonna have one half, one over, this is our u. So we're gonna have square root of u and then all that's du. So we're just gonna have du. But then let's bring this to the numerator. So we'll have one half integral u to the minus one half du. And now we can integrate. We'll have one half, just power rule. Uh, this is gonna be u one half, but multiply out a two. And we're left with just the square root of u plus c. All we need to do is back substitute. And we're gonna left with our, we'll have our final answer, which is gonna be the square root of one plus square root of e square root of x plus c. And we're done. And that's it, so nothing too hard, just a little bit of algebra and uh, kind of a messy use substitution. We'll stop it there.